Hi, welcome to day three of finding the surface area of triangular prisms. Okay, so here is a triangular prism. The surface area is this shaded part, and it's the shaded part around the whole thing that you can't see. Because we're gonna remember, we're talking about a three-dimensional shape here. So yesterday we found it using a net, and personally, I like to use a net to help me find it. So I'm just gonna kind of draw for myself what this looks like more or less. And in this particular case, we have some shapes that have the same measurements. So those ones will have the same area, okay? So this will be the same area as this, these two rectangles, and these two triangles will have the same area as each other. So let's see what these measurements would be. This triangle, it's not the bottom, sorry, rectangle. This rectangle, it's not the bottom rectangle. Um, it's gonna be five by seven, which equals 35, which means this one is also 35. See, I cut down on some of my work there. The bottom rectangle is gonna be six times seven, which equals 42. And then our two triangles, which are the same, they are the base is six and the height is four. So four times six divided by two. Base times height divided by two, which is gonna equal 24, divided by two, which is equal to 12. So this is 12 and this is 12. So we have our five areas here. And then we just add them together. Now, you can just take out a calculator and add them together if your teacher lets you do that. Um, personally, this is how I would do it to just cut down on steps when I'm writing it out, is I would, in my head, I know that 12 plus 12 is 24. And then 35 plus 35 is 70, and then plus 42. That's a little bit easier of a problem to do than having five numbers. And then I would just look at these and I would know, okay, two, seven, and four, that makes 13. And then we got four and six is, sorry, four and two is six. So we're gonna get 136. Just do some mental math. Now, I don't know um, if your teacher lets you use the calculator, but honestly, I hope they do let you at least check your work after you're done with the calculator because it's really easy to make a simple mistake. So yeah, so we have 136. This is the area to cover if we were painting this or shading it or whatever the case may be over the whole triangular prism. This whole thing is gonna be 136 and these are centimeters. So it's gonna be 136 centimeters squared. And remember these are squared numbers because we're talking about area. And in this case, it's surface area, which means it's the area of all of the parts added together. So um, I hope that makes sense. And I hope that you do well on your work today. And we'll talk again tomorrow. Bye.